And tonight, the condolences pouring in after the death of Beau Biden, the vice president's oldest child. Tonight, he's being remembered as a devoted husband and father, as a public servant who earned respect across the political spectrum, but also tonight as a beloved son by the father with whom he had a special bond. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila with a look back. Handsome with a campaign poster family, political pedigree, and a military record, Bo Biden's bright future could only be stopped by a five-year battle with brain cancer. At his side overnight as he died, today the vice president, his wife Jill, and daughter-in-law Hallie mourn, saying Bo Biden was quite simply the finest man any of us have ever known. The 46-year-old former Delaware Attorney General, seen here at a victory party in 2010, volunteered to serve in Iraq. Those choices have consequences not just for me, which I know I signed up for, but they have consequences for my wife. They have consequences for my family. Vice President Biden and his oldest son had a bond forged by tragedy. Then Senator Joe Biden sworn in for his first term in Bo and his brother Hunter's hospital room in 1974. They had survived a car crash that killed their mother and sister. The incredible bond I have with my children is a gift I'm not sure I would have had had I not been through what I went through. Joe and Bo's tight relationship on display back in 2008 when the son introduced the father at the Democratic National Convention that put Biden on the ticket. My friend, my father, my hero. A genuine moment greatly cherished by the vice president. A father knows his success when he turns and looks at his son or daughter and know that they turned out better than he did. I'm a success. I'm a hell of a success. Bowie, I love you. I'm so proud of you. And at the White House, where Bo had visited often, President Obama and the First Lady, in a statement, called him a close friend, full of love, honor, and service, who will live on in our hearts. The Bidens have not been seen in public today, and no funeral plans have been announced.